how severe is the threat there in the UK? Uh, Molly, good morning. This is of, of real concern for the UK. It is the first acknowledgement of a direct link between ISIS in Afghanistan and actual attacks on the streets of the UK and Europe. And remember, ever since 9-11, the one thing that the US and their allies have been fighting against is the creation of safe zones like this from which terror attacks can be plotted and planned. ISIS have been growing stronger in Afghanistan, with thousands having moved from Iraq, Syria, as well as from Pakistan and other countries in the region. And as opposed to the Taliban there, ISIS remain firmly focused on attacks against the West. We're seeing the terrorist groups operating here in Afghanistan, evidence of their links back, not just to the United Kingdom, but to the whole of continental Europe. It's partly because of this threat that the UK has now sent 400 more soldiers to Afghanistan to assist, both as a support mission, but also as training. So what's clear is that despite suffering these setbacks in Iraq and Syria, losing almost all their territory, they are still able to plot against the West. And the great fear now is that another attack like Bataclan, like Manchester, could take place. Molly? And what does it mean for the wider battle in Afghanistan? Molly, the rise of ISIS in Afghanistan has been a very interesting development there. At the same time as the U.S. and their allies have been fighting uh, ever harder against ISIS there, we've seen them reach out to the Taliban, offering some sort of peace deal, ceasefires moving forward in a hope to sway the battle there. Yesterday, there was a change of NATO command in Afghanistan, with a new U.S. general taking over the 41-nation force. He hopes to rejuvenate the fight against them, and he, too, recognized the threat. The world recognizes that Afghanistan cannot be a safe haven for terrorism. The world recognizes we cannot fail. And ISIS in Afghanistan have taken a number of hits recently. Just last week, their leader was killed. In fact, the fourth leader uh, of ISIS in Afghanistan to be taken out in the last few years. That was by a U.S. strike. But nevertheless, they keep remaining strong. And that's because the, the Afghan army are focusing heavily on the urban centers. And in the rural areas, ISIS, as well as the Taliban, have been allowed to grow stronger and carry out attacks against their own population.